Well, the, the par to me, the parallel is quite distinct because you're talking about for what America re recognizes as Motown, the, the first, what, what is considered the first structured, you know, factory for black music, you know, first black owned, et cetera, uh, record company, that not, not only put out records, but groomed and modeled their artists. And every aspect of it was carefully observed and subsequently uh, all the artists were trained not only musically but in the way that they behaved the way they walked acting lessons you know dancing coaching and all that so quite naturally uh, a young person who is a, a rapper or a spoken word artist if you will that grows up accessing that tradition will bring those same traditions to his music uh, just as a, as a short aside for the record Motown Records was not the first black record company in America it was pure. It was a uh, uh, Duke Peacock Records, which was was in my hometown uh, of Houston, Texas, and Bobby Bland. All those artists were on that label. Mm -hmm. History, for some reason, has chosen to ignore that. Simplified it, Disney. Well, because Detroit was a northern city, and there's a there's a general prejudice towards southerners in this country. So, unfortunately, people have gone uninformed about. Don Roby and the musicians that came out of that camp and and all of that. And, and the recent Ray Charles movie has like brought a lot of that to life because it evidenced that he was living in Houston and getting musicians out of there. Well, that was the reason why, besides his wife being there, that that was such a camp for him. And it was because of this record making that was going on during this time period. So Barry Gordy had a model for what he was able to pull off in Detroit and took it a step further. I, I think the fact that he was able to take it that step further is what made Motown really exceptional because they invested their time and money and resources into the individual, not just the record that person made, but really carefully building an artist so that they would have a long career. And the average life of a recording artist, obviously, nowadays is about 10 years. It used to be the fact that you get an opportunity to make 10, 20, 30 records. Mm -hmm.